Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to another episode of The Infected. I am Dergills. Thank you so much for tuning in, and we're getting a visit from Bill the Boar right away, and uh, we need more meat, Bill, so sorry, buddy. <laughs> sorry to get started off on a bad note right there by killing Bill. Oh, let's kill the Mambi too. How about that? There we go. There's a good note. There's a good note. So, uh, let's go put Bill over here on the drying rack, what you say. I still think we should get more than two pieces of meat for killing Bill, but hey, that's just me. Guys, we got a lot to do. We've got a lot to do. And uh, we're gonna try to, um... It's just gonna be one of those episodes where it's like, I'm gonna try to get a little bit of a lot of things done. Uh, first of all, I'm gonna move my kitchen. This needs to be all storage and it needs to be battery storage up here and I know a lot of you are gonna say don't don't waste your materials on batteries but we do have solar panels we got to finish making some solar panels and uh, actually we can do that right now let's see, let's see what we need we need uh, iron and iron and cobalt so we need one cobalt and the rest iron one cobalt and five six iron so let's do that we, we have solar panels I'm gonna have solar panels just because they're in the game I'm also gonna make some wind turbines so don't worry about that i will make wind turbines let's see and how many iron do i need six six iron there we go one two three four five six that should get us two more solar panels going but yeah we we need to make some batteries too but before we make batteries we're gonna do some wind turbines probably there's that and there's that does that get rid of everything yeah it does all right good deal so there's two more solar panels up and running uh, if we look at our our box here, we can just turn that on. I guess we don't have to turn that on right now, but we got 240 power available. Uh, we have six solar panels, not bad. Now I was debating on where to put the wind turbines. Now I'm wondering if I could just put them out here and put like a little fence around them. Will the Vambies mess with them if they're over here, just like on the ground over here? Because I feel like that's the best place for them. Or like, I don't want them like on my foundation or anything like that. Maybe I can just do like a wind turbine farm like right here, you know? So let's see, let's see what we can put out here. I'm at least going to put the ghost images down for them. Power, wind turbine. So four iron ingots, ten aluminum ingots, five lead, and four cobalt man that those are pretty expensive to be honest with you so we're just gonna put one two we're just gonna put three out for now but they are pretty expensive so one thing one problem I'm coming across right now is lead so I don't have any lead I have um, or is it steel it's steel that I don't have I do have lead. You know what? So I wish I wouldn't have turned all my lead ore into lead ingots because I need the lead ore right now to make steel. We're going to go ahead and drop the lead in here. There's five there, five there, and five there. And that leaves us two over. So we got the lead in. Uh, we could probably get some of the iron in as well we're not gonna do that quite yet because we are working on iron in a couple of other spots right now so I do need steel which means I need more lead ores and my dogs I know y'all love my dogs so I hope you do anyway because they're gonna make plenty of cameos in my videos but in order to get lead I, I mean steel I need more lead and that means we have to go to a cave we have to go to a cave and I'm going to let, let's see, let's see, the closest cave is right here. And this is the only cave I've been to. I haven't been to any of these caves. I know some of these caves are a little bit bigger from what I hear, but this is maybe the smallest cave. We're going to go ahead and hit this one first. And then that's going to give uh, my aluminum, uh, my cobalt and my aluminum sites enough time to get some more aluminum and cobalt. So uh, let's go ahead and put these in here. And somebody said to make a second Somebody said to make a second log cart and just have, you know, just have some boxes waiting on them from where I need them so I don't have to like 
unpack the cart and repack it and stuff like that. Um, I may do that in a little bit, but uh, it's not going to be a priority right now. But I do appreciate the tip, and I probably will do it at some point. All right, let's make sure we have what we need. Let's make sure I have a an iron pickaxe. I do have an iron pickaxe. I have a bone spear, and I have an arrow. It is 621 p.m. You know what? Who cares? It's dark in the cave anyway, right? Let's just go. And the cave is not far. The cave is not far. Oh, somebody also said, I can't, I can't remember who leaves these comments, so I apologize. But somebody also said that you can take your cart in the water. Yeah. And you can. Look at that. Nice tip there. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Yeah, this cave is like right here, man. Oh, there's a deer right here too. Uh-oh. We have a Vambi. We have a Vambi. Oh, I hit him in. Oh. Oh man, he is uh, zigging and zagging on me. Yeah, do that. Give me something to shoot at. Thank you. Why couldn't you have just done that from the beginning? Oh, he got my health all the way down to 64, man. That's not good. That's not good. All right, there we go. Well, we got some cucumbers, too. Let's go ahead and eat these cucumbers to get my health back up. There we go. Good enough. Do I have any water? I'm about to go off in this cave of water. I have plenty of clean water. Okay, let's just finish that. And we actually don't have protein on us, but that's okay. That's okay. Oh, look. Found my arrow. Found my arrow. Okay. So the cave is right over here. Now, if you want to know what I'm coming to the cave for, we're coming and we're going to look for some lead ore. We are going to look for some lead ore is what we're mainly in the cave for. We'll pick up some mushrooms while we're here too. Haven't really used a lot of mushrooms as of yet, but we are going to pick them up once we see them. I see some more over here. I haven't used a ton of mushrooms yet. Let's just creep through here. There we go. Let's break this up. There we go. Lead ore, stone, and lead ore. Good deal. Let's move around here a little bit. Come on. There's a scorpion just fell out of the sky. Can I use the uh can I use the bow and arrow to kill the scorpions? I guess I can, but what happened to my other arrow? Oh, it takes two arrows. It's crazy you get like a, a meat from that. Aha, wolf, you can't get me, I'm in the cave. All right, we're gonna harvest some more mushrooms. Now, I thought there was gonna be more lead in here. Or can you only come get lead once? Does it not respawn? That'd be a big bummer if it didn't respawn. I guess that means I have to go to another, the other cave. All right, so the lead ore that I just got must be one that I didn't get the last time, like the first time I came in this cave because there is no more okay I took three arrows that's weird there's there's no more there's no more lead to 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 get there's no more lead to get and the rain sound just glitched out on me all right so now we're gonna have to go to another cave and that's gonna be a nice little trip but we're gonna do it we're gonna do it. We're gonna go to another cave because I need lead, and I, that's where I'm gonna find it. Gonna find it in the caves. Figured I'd stop by the iron machine and uh, just take what's in here for now. Uh, not a ton in here, but you know it's enough. Just uh, since we're here, just take it and come back. But we're probably not gonna go to the cave right now just because it's late. It's 8:07 p.m. So we're gonna hang out at the base for a little bit. I just wanna tell the people that support this channel that I will be out of town. I will be out of town. We are flying out and going to Oregon 
on Saturday, July 31st. And I will not be back until Saturday, August 7th. So, next week is going to be very light on the videos. I'm going to try to have one, maybe two videos uh, so I can post for next week. going to try, but uh, there are no promises. So, if you see a lack of videos here for, you know, a couple weeks, just know there's some... Uh, some personal stuff going on, and then we are also going out of town. Just want to let you guys know that. So hang in there, and I'm not going anywhere. All right, it's about 6.30, and we are awake. Let's go in here to our food, and let's see what we have to eat. Uh, let's go ahead and drink, and let's uh, eat some carbs. Now, we need some protein. And what's us see. Yeah, let's get some of these. I'd say get three pieces of protein here. Yeah, that'll do. That'll get it on up there. And let's eat one piece of watermelon. And we're looking pretty good. Let's put these two pieces of meat on the drying rack. Those came from the scorpion. You know, the scorpion meat's just as big as the boar meat and the deer meat. All right, guys. I believe it is this way. Oh, no, I believe I was wrong. It is this way. Let's head this way. We're going to go this way. And wish me luck, guys. And hopes I don't get attacked by a bear or anything. All right, guys, we're coming up on the next cave. Here it is. Like I said, a lot of you told me after I visited my last cave that that was the smallest cave. So I don't know what I'm in store for here. We're going to break out the bow. We got the headlamp. Let's just see what is in here. There's sticks, random sticks. Hopefully we don't get lost in one of these things, you know? I know they're bigger caves, but it would suck if I got lost. Ah, right, here we go. Alright, let's break this up. This should be our lead in here. Beautiful. And some clay. I'll take some clay. What about in here? Anything? It is a bit eerie, I'll tell you that. I wonder if we could build in the cave. Can we build in the cave? How awesome would that be? I'm sure somebody's tried it. I'm sure one of you maniacs out there has tried to build in the cave. And if I just gave you the idea, go for it. <laughs> Go for it and post it in the Discord. Tell me how it works out for you. By the way, Discord link down in the description below. You can join the Discord if you're bored. This is a much, much bigger cave. Is that one like in, like, kind of glitched in that rock there? Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get the, the lead ores. That's disappointing. Okay, here's a rock back here. Let's get this one. Looks like more clay and more lead. Yeah, I'm already turned around. I don't know where I've been, where I'm going. Oh, there's more over there. Beautiful. Come on. We're going to visit two caves today. Right now, we're in this one. And we're going to visit this one right up here once we're done. Look, there's another rock right there. Come on. There we go. Looking good. How heavy are those? Two. Oh, we're way underweight. We're good. There's one right there. Sweet. I am not doing a very good job of looking out for scorpions. I just ran over a scorpion, luckily. 
he didn't bite me or anything or sting me. So not bite, but sting. Luckily, he didn't sting me. There's some more lead. Oh, some iron. So you get some iron from this stuff, too. That's kind of cool. Did not know that. There's another one. Pretty sweet. Now, is this... Okay, so... Oh, 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 scorpion. No, 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 no. You leave me alone, scorpion. Well, see there, I killed him with the first shot. Alright, so here is... Okay. Here's my cart. We'll just drop all this stuff off and go back in. I don't know. So I got turned around and I accidentally found my cart again. I wasn't trying to find my cart. It just happened to be where I ended up. Now you watch. I'm going to want to find my cart in a little bit. And I'm not going to be able to find it, am I? Look, here's a rock right here. Now, these seem like they're just spawning in, you know? I could be wrong, but they seem like they're just spawning in. These rocks, but I don't think these rocks were here before. Maybe with the last cave I was in, I didn't give it enough time to spawn in. Oh, there's two right beside each other. Oh, that's kind of glitching out a little bit. Well, that's okay. Get the iron ore, the lead ore. Let's just go straight back. Yeah, look at that. Mushrooms, and rocks everywhere. I'm pretty sure these rocks were not here before. That is okay by me, though. Give me all the lead ore that I can get. Just going straight back. I want to see if there's, like, water in this cave like there was in the other one. Plus, I'm also trying to do a straight line so I don't get lost. All right, a couple more rocks with some lead in it. There we go. There's another one. Remember when you could just go out and mine for aluminum and mine for iron? Okay, let's drop some of these. We're a little too heavy. I didn't want to drop the the lead. All right, now we got to find our way back because we are too heavy. All right, so I've found my way out of an exit it seems like the uh oh this was all the same cave this was all the same cave wow okay good to know good to know so we're just gonna run on top instead of going back through that cave we're just gonna run up here i did not realize we were so close to a bambi village either interesting I guess I just wasn't really paying attention to that. Should be just right over this hill, right? Wait a minute. Let's get this Bambi right here. There we go. Nice shot there. And it looks like we're going to have to... Eh, let's drop this stone right here. It looks like we're going to run on the other side. Oh, there's another one right there. We're, we're in trouble now. Oh my gosh, how many does it take? One. One, two, three, four, five. It took five arrows to kill her oh we had some aluminum i ain't mad at that at all all right we're right by bambi village i'm wondering if we should loot a couple houses uh just for good for for good measure all right let's load up man we got a lot of lead or we are looking good guys oh that one's full so let's go in this one there we go let's take this out right here all right, guys, I'm going to make one more swoop through here. I guess this is going to be my test to see if this stuff just respawns or not. going to make one more swoop through the cave, see if I can find any more lead, maybe fill up on lead again. 
and then we'll head back to the base all right guys we are back to the cart and yes we got some more lead wow so i answered my own question whether or not they respawn or not and they do i know a lot of you are like getting ready to type in the comments yes they respawn yes they do and you are right if you were saying that because they do respawn they were respawning right in front of my eyes in the cave it uh, made it pretty easy <laughs> so all i need to go to do is go to one cave and mine lead so i don't know you know the smaller cave that might not respawn as much but you know it does respawn so we got 54 lead guys we got 54 lead job well done we're gonna be able to get some steel made we're gonna be able to get that oil extractor going and whatever else we need steel for for the time being you know until we have to come back i'm sure you'll need more steel later but for now we're able to get we're gonna be able to get things done that we need to get done uh the smaller things all right now for the long journey home guys i'll catch up with you when we're at the base you know it probably wouldn't hurt to head on up here and check out our aluminum site and see how much aluminum we have since the last time we were there let's do that let's check our aluminum and our cobalt site we got a little bit of room in our bag we got a little bit of room and the in the storage crate if we don't we run out of room in the storage crate we could probably get rid of the, whatever stones are in there and whatever clay is in there we can get rid of that so we can make some more room for some aluminum because we definitely need some aluminum we're coming up on it now just right over this hill all right there it is one thing we didn't do is if we have we don't have any biofuel on us so if it does need more biofuel we can't put it in there right now look at that we got decent amount of aluminum here this is gonna be this is gonna be great because we actually need this uh, pretty bad all right let's look in here so we're definitely gonna have to get rid of definitely gonna have to get rid of the clay and the regular rocks here and let's just dump the aluminum in here as much as we can nice nice little nice little aluminum run there so we got 54 54.45 out of 75 let's make a stop by the cobalt site too as well since we're out here might as well right and we're about half empty on the oil so that gives it plenty of time to round up some more aluminum and then we'll sneak out here and drop some more biofuel in it uh, when we get some time once we get some other stuff done all right here we are at the cobalt site so I already know we're just gonna have to we're just gonna have to get rid of all of this we don't have any room in our crates i don't believe that's full and that's full we don't have any room in our crates so let's just go in here let's grab all this yeah see that immediately makes us too heavy and right, let's go in here and grab all of this and then let's just drop let's drop the coal first because i would like to keep most of the rocks if i can so let's drop the coal first all right so we're gonna have to get rid of the rocks too all right we're able to keep no rocks no rocks this last rock we're able to keep one rock <laughs> able to keep one rock but we got all of the cobalt all of the aluminum we have so much lead this has been a, a very good run this has been a very good run let's go back home guys let's go back home all right we are back home and i'm excited i'm excited about all this lead that we have we're gonna make we're gonna make some steel some steel alloy here in just a second let me drop some of this stuff off right here let's drop some of this aluminum in here and let's drop this cobalt in here look at all this cobalt we have and yeah, let's drop this over here all right so what do we need for steel alloy i can't remember let's go to itempedia resources Steel alloy, one lead ore, one iron ore. So we need six. We need six for that, right? Am I correct? We need six steel. So let's grab one, two, three, four, five, six. 
And then we need six iron. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then I believe we make the steel alloy over here on the anvil. Yes. Let's just do this. Let's just make these. How about that? There we go. Now let's head on over and cook these suckers up. There we go. Boop, doop, 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 doop. Cook it on up, brother. And then we need 13 aluminum ingots for this thing. 13 aluminum ingots for this. And we just put aluminum in here, right? We got one, two, three, four. Here, we can actually put four right here. And we need nine more, but we'll grab 10 so we can have a whole, whole stack. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we got nine more after this. Let's cook this up. Very good, very good. Yes. All right, let's just take the rest of the stuff and uh, go store it somewhere. There's our steel. And then there is our aluminum. Let's go ahead and put these out here. Oops. There's the steel. We need nine more. We need nine more aluminum. And here it is right here. There's ten. There we go. We finally have <laughs> we finally have the oil extractor, guys. We finally have the oil extractor. And we can power it on, but it's not going to stay on because it is raining. Past our bedtime, we're going to go to sleep and then see what else we can do when we get up. Let's go. Go to sleep, sleep. All right, it's like 6:45 and we're up in Adam and we need to drink we've only got 25 water we need some protein something went bad something went bad it looks like it was meat but that meat hadn't even been in there but just for a little while and let's get some carbs in there let's go get some water we need to fill up with some water all right we'll put some dirty water in here we might as well go ahead and Put this meat on here as well and let's go get a piece of wood from up here and let's cook this up all right so let's see what else we can get going in here so we got the oil extractor what all do, what all does the, the windmills take what all do we take over here let's see we need 10 aluminum ingots four cobalt ingots so we'll be able to get one wind turbine I said windmill wind turbine or do I want the stone grinder first what does the stone grinder take electrical parts mechanical parts I don't have that I gotta I gotta make electrical parts and mechanical parts iron E gets 20 I put five planks in there so we're still gonna wait on that we're gonna get one turbine going we're gonna get one turbine going so let's get all of this aluminum man it goes quick I feel like I just put that aluminum in there. All right, and let's cook up some cobalt because I know we need some cobalt. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You know, no harm in no harm in smelting all the cobalt. Might as well do that. Uh oh, Vambi, Vambi time. Let me get out here. Where are you, Vambi? Come see me. Where are you? There, there you are. Are you gonna get on a knee and like let me shoot you? Nope. Okay, I'll just I'll just shoot you that way. Oh, some biofuel. There we go. All right, so let's go turn this on. There we go. Since it's quit raining now. Okay, we were gonna cook the rest of this cobalt before we were so rudely interrupted. All right, let's put these on. And cook it on up, kid. 
All right, here's our aluminum. I believe we need this this aluminum in here. Man, it is all gone, just like that. It is all G O N E gone. All right, let's put these in here. There's ten, and then we need just four cobalt. One, two, three. I'll just get all of it. I'll just get all of it and then come back. There we go. We got a wind turbine. Yeah, might as well drop these in here. Wish there was a better way to get aluminum. By the way, I am going to move the kitchen. I'm going to move the kitchen into here. I'm going to move the kitchen into right here. And upstairs, it's kind of a dumb place to have the kitchen anyway. This, this is kind of a dumb place to have the kitchen, let's be honest. And the kitchen, here, I'll just go ahead and throw down some, uh, some wooden walls here and show you. We'll do the interior walls. We're just going to do it like this right here. And interior door frame. Boom, and then this will be the kitchen right here. I think that's cool. You know, you can smelt out here. I don't know. It, it'll be okay. It'll be okay. All right. Don't know if I got a ton done today. I guess I did. I don't know. We got a, a ton of lead, so that's good. We won't need lead for a while. And we got a ton of cobalt and a ton of aluminum. We are able to get the oil extractor up and going. Able to get the oil extractor up and going. We are able to get one wind turbine going. whoop de doo right? One wind turbine, 20 power. Better than not having 20 power we're gonna make a little wind turbine farm right out here and i'm gonna put uh, something around it maybe like a fence around it so the bambies can't get to it but that's gonna do it for this episode guys i really appreciate you hanging out thanks for for watching my slow progress on this once i finish the rpgs on my channel i am going to start playing this game some more and i'm going to be playing one other survival game and i'm going to let you guys pick gonna let you guys pick what survival game i play the second one and then there will be one rpg game on the channel moving forward so one rpg game two survival games that's the direction this channel is going so just letting you guys know all right that's gonna be it thank you for hanging out we'll see you in the next video guys take care